today we are going to discuss about qualitative research overview. So it is all about qualitative research alone. Last week, we discussed about the differences between qualitative and quantitative research, okay? Your assignment at the end of this lesson will be first, watch the difference between quantitative and qualitative methods, all right? So you need to write about the differences between two methods. And then the second assignment is what are the main qualitative research approaches. At the end of the lesson, you will know what are the main qualitative research approaches. So you are going to write from your knowledge that you gained from this lecture, right? And the last assignment will be what are the qualitative research data collection methods. Right, let us recap the uh, last week lesson. The qualitative research involves collecting and analyzing non-numerical data, right? This, this is very important concept. In qualitative research, it involves non-numerical data. Non-numerical data is description. So examples of those non-numerical data are text, videos, stories, narratives, audio, drawings, paintings, etc. Even including dreams, it is more of stories, experiences, and perceptions. So non-numerical data to understand concepts, opinions, or experiences. It can be used together in depth insights into a problem or generate new ideas for research. Okay, Qualitative research is the opposite of quantitative research, of course. Quantitative research involves collecting and analyzing numerical data for statistical analysis. Okay? Qualitative research is commonly used in the humanities and social sciences in subjects such as anthropology, sociology, education, health sciences, history, etc. Okay? So, this was we discussed last week. And this is additional the examples of qualitative research question. Okay, so what kind of question would be in qualitative research? So how does social media shape body image in teenagers? Their body image among teenagers. How do children and adults interpret healthy eating in the Philippines? What factors influence employee retention in a large organization? How is anxiety experienced around the world? How can teachers integrate social issues into science curriculums? Okay, so this is just the example questions to help you out understanding in qualitative research. Today's lecture is about qualitative research overview. We are going to cover four areas. First, qualitative research approaches. Secondly, qualitative research methods for data collection. And the third thing is qualitative research data analysis, okay, with your data. And lastly, advantages and disadvantages of qualitative research as an overview, okay? But this will be very long lesson, so Today, we'll just cover the two topics. They are the first and second one, qualitative research approaches, okay? Approaches and research methods for data collection. Okay, so approaches to qualitative research. Uh, when you hear that, uh, you are saying, uh, okay, I chose qualitative research approach to my research, okay? So, what are qualitative research approaches? Qualitative research is used to understand how people experience the world. While there are many approaches to qualitative research, they tend to be flexible and focus on retaining rich meaning when interpreting data. When you interpreting data you collect, this will be explained, descriptive. Yes, you will describe the things that you observed, the things that you gained from your context, right? So data will be interpreted. Common approaches include ground theory. Okay, there's a one approach, ground theory, ethnography, action research, phenomenological research, and narrative research. They share some similarities 
but emphasize different aims and perspectives. Okay, uh, they share some similarities, of course, but emphasize different aims and perspectives. That is why you need to choose appropriate approach for your own study. All right, so let's go over one by one. This is approach, different approaches, and what does it involve, okay? So firstly, grounded theory. Researchers collect rich data on a topic of interest and develop theories inductively, okay? So you develop theory at the end. Ethnography. Researchers immerse themselves in groups or organizations to understand their cultures. Okay, you go into the context and then you experience on your own. You experience and you understand. And next one is action research. Researchers and participants collaboratively link theory to practice to drive social change. Okay, so you take an action. Phenomenal logical research. Researchers investigate a phenomenon or event by describing and interpreting participants' lived experiences. Narrative research. Researchers examine how stories are told to understand how participants perceive and make sense of their experiences. Okay? Does it make sense? Let's go to the research method for data collection. Okay, we discussed about qualitative research approaches. Okay, you need to choose research methods for your data collection in the context. Each of the research approaches involve using one or more data collection methods. These are some of the most common qualitative methods, right? So what are research methods for qualitative research approaches? First, observations, recording what you have seen, heard, or encountered in detailed field notes. Secondly, interviews, personally asking people questions in one-on-one -on -one conversations. Focus groups, asking questions and generating discussion among a group of people. Okay, uh, you choose your own focus group, right? Surveys, distributing questionnaires with open-ended questions so that you can hear their perceptions, their insights, all right? So distributing open-ended questionnaires. Secondary research, not only doing these observations, interviews, focus groups, aside from it, you can collect existing data, for example, in the form of a text, document, or previous researches, images, audio or video recordings, etc. Okay, uh, this is bonus. Um, uh, I can share with you a research example, right? So this is a research topic. You to understand more about qualitative research. So what kind of approach you choose and then upon that approach, what kind of research method you're going to use, right? So to research the culture of a large tech company, organization culture, okay, you decide to take an ethnographic approach. Here comes one of approaches, ethnographic approach. You work at the company for several months. Yes, you are going to immerse, all right? And use various methods to gather data, okay? So first, you take field notes with observations and reflect on your own experience of the company culture. Okay, here comes observations, okay, and your notes. Mm -hmm. This will be transcribed, right? You will transcribe it and you will analyze it by its theme. That is why it is important a field note, right? While you are observing the context. Second, you describe open-ended surveys to employees across all the company's offices by email to find out if the culture varies across locations. And thirdly, you conduct in-depth interviews with employees in your office to learn about their experiences and perspectives in greater detail. So we discussed about qualitative research approaches and its 
research methods for data collection. Yes, we are almost done. Um, you need to know the characteristics of qualitative research method. Okay, so qualitative researchers often consider themselves instruments. Okay, in research because all observations, interpretations, and analysis are filtered through their own personal lens. If you are the researcher, okay. Uh, all the observations, interpretations, and analysis are filtered through your own personal lens. So you are the instrument, okay? Mm. You are a very significant being because all the informations will be filtered through your personal lens. For this reason, when writing up your methodology for qualitative research, it's important to reflect on your approach, okay? Yes. In your proposal in chapter 3 for the methodology chapter, you need to define what is your approach. If it is ethnographic research approach or if it is action research, narrative approach, phenomenological approach, or in other words, case study in a certain context. And to thoroughly explain the choices you made in collecting and analyzing the data. So you need to specify what is your research method to gather your data and how you analyze the data. Let's continue the characteristics that you need to understand qualitative research methods. Qualitative researchers typically gather multiple forms of data, such as interviews, observations, and document and survey with questionnaire rather than rely on a single data source. This is very, very important in qualitative research, okay? We call this triangulation to build up the credibility. So it's important you do not use only one data source, one method to gather your data, but you use more than one, okay? Several research methods they can be interviews, observations, documents, data survey, questionnaire, okay? This type of research method works towards solving complex issues by breaking down into meaningful inferences, okay? That is easily readable and understood by all. Since it's a more communicative method, People can build their trust on the researcher and the information, okay? And the information thus obtained is raw and unadulterated. It means that it's very dependable. The information is pure since it gained from the real context. Okay, this is all for today. I remind you of your assignments, okay? Answer. Uh, the difference between quantitative and qualitative methods, okay? And what are the main qualitative research approaches that you learned today, okay? You can write the approaches, different approaches, and its definition, right? And what are the qualitative research data collection methods? Data collection methods, okay? Research method for data collection. You need to use in qualitative research more than one to build up credibility, okay, and validity. So it's better use more than one, so we call that triangulation, okay? So you got clue? I hope that you submit your assignment on time, okay? Take good care of yourself and study hard to grow in knowledge. At the same time, meditate the word of God and pray so that your spirituality will grow together with your knowledge that you can be thoroughly equipped for the work of God in your future. May God bless you guys. See you all next meeting. Bye.